Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Be on the bottom of the deck, they're feeling guilty, angry. I feel like this person's mad because you're leaving them behind. Ooh. And you're in this beautiful Empress in the Minor Arcana energy, okay? Um, you're collecting your wishes here. You've got wish fulfillment rolling in. Big wishes, little wishes, right? I feel like um, you may notice, too, as soon as you want something, like, a, like if you were to say, I wish I had that, you know, that kind of thing, you end up getting it within, it could be immediately or within a matter of, just a few days okay i feel like yeah you're making some bold decisions for yourself moving into this new cycle you could even be possibly making a, a house move you know this can also be a job change so some of you just got a new job or you're starting a new career or making a transition between from working for someone else to working for yourself okay um, I just feel like the success, big success for you, a major glow up and confident, strong energy and you're leaving someone behind and they're very, very angry. They could be even feeling hostile at times. They know that they're guilty for, for doing something to you. I feel like this person really wronged you and this is coming to an end. This person goes back and forth. I've picked up on this before. I think it was a cancer video. This person goes back and forth from like crying a million tears, like sobbing, and then they'll get up and they'll get angry and they'll punch a wall or they'll break something, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like they're very upset. Not only are they missing you and they're in love with you and brokenhearted, but you're, you also are quickly becoming the most successful person they know. Okay, so they missed out on growing like a ten of pentacles at your side. This would be the nine of pentacles in this deck. Okay, the most you can have in the deck is ten. And I feel like this person, they know they wronged you. They're upset because they lost you. They're really angry with themselves, okay? And I feel like this person wanted, maybe they wanted you to reach out to them, but that's not happening. You're focused on other things. You're focused on um, your abundance. You're focused on your success. You're growing some kind of creative project or switching jobs, maybe making a house move. Yeah, you're filling your life with new things, Collective. You know, um, and Spirit is providing for you as far as, new opportunities and and a life change okay and i feel like you've got a lot of money here some of you could be on your way to wealth right and this person is literally kicking themselves angry with themselves feeling brokenhearted crying um suffering a huge loss here panicking because you know what you're getting away because this is like taking a leap of faith, a giant leap of faith into the future and excited for new things. Some of you are ready for love and you're manifesting new love in your life as well. This person, they also can see that you're single, beautiful, abundant, successful, uh, financially stable. You've healed. You've got a glow about you. You're glowing. Look at your skin. You've got beautiful skin. Um, yeah, and, and this person knows that you're the catch, right? And anybody, I mean, you're like, it's like anybody would be out of their mind not to want a chance with you. And it's making this person very panicky, okay? They're feeling very anxious here. They want to reach out, but I feel like they can't seem to get control of their emotions. You could be, um, you could be a, a Virgo and Aries, heavy Virgo energy. You could possibly be a Leo. Yeah, this person, I feel like what they do is they'll, 
they'll type up a, a text message and then they'll delete it okay they'll write you a letter and they'll crumple it up and throw it away um, they'll go to reach for the phone to call you and they'll be like no I can't you know um, the collectives not gonna want me back or what I have to say isn't gonna be good enough I'm getting the sense that this person just thinks that after everything that they have put you through their apology isn't gonna be enough yet at the same time this person is like longing for you okay you know you could have recently received a text message or a letter from this person because I'm seeing them for some of you this person has already tried to reach out and maybe you just don't you don't even know if you have this person blocked you may not even see their text messages you know, when I have someone blocked on my phone, I don't even get their text messages. You know, and the phone doesn't ring for them either. So you may not even be aware of it. They could be waiting to hear back from you and you're just leaving their life. They're just watching you leave. Okay. So that's for some of you. They've already tried to reach out, but... I feel like this person is just, they're longing for you, collective. They may feel stuck in something. What does this person feel stuck in? Stuck and embarrassed. They could even be in jail, actually. I just feel like they, uh, for, for a lot of you, this person got with someone else. Okay, and now they're they're feeling very embarrassed. They, it's also what they did to you and how they hurt you, I feel like was brutal, you know? And now they know they, they may not be able to come back in because of how badly they treated you. And, you know, there were other people who knew about what happened. I feel like no one came to your aid. Like no one even asked if you were okay. Uh, people that you gave your love to, Right? Those people could have turned on you, talked about you behind your back. You know, I feel like you you were heartbroken and betrayed in all of this. And then I feel like you were like sacrificed in possibly a third party. Okay, but you also, you kind of lost other connections as well. You know, um, people that you cared about in the past, they turned on you. And I feel like this person, you know, they have to sit with this. They're kind of, it, this is like lockdown mode. I don't know. For some of you, they are in jail. For others, they're in a spiritual jail. Having to take a look at what they've done. Crying over this. They need to look at themselves. I'm kind of getting hermit energy. A lot of Virgo energy in this reading. And Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. So now after everything that's been done to you, you're moving forward. You've got your training wheels off, right? So I know you've learned your lessons from this. And you're high vibing. And I feel like you're also very protected, spiritually protected. And now you're able to move on because you've healed. You've healed enough to move forward and leave this person behind like a ponytail in the wind. You know, and they're behind you, right? Saying, no, don't go. Yeah, they're going to be getting their karma. If this person is still in a toxic situation, that's about to come crumbling down. Okay, this is a tower moment right, right outside their window of a home situation. There could actually be a house fire. Someone's home could catch on fire. Someone could have to leave very quickly, move away. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're leaving. You could be moving away. And your person may need to move as well. They may be wanting to move where you're going. Okay? They're very sad right now. Unhappy, joyless, dejected. Yeah, and they're feeling like after everything that they've done to hurt you, after what they put you through, and I feel like it was publicly humiliating, okay? I feel like a lot of people knew about it, talked about, about you and how you were hurting behind your back. 
This person could have blamed you, threw you to the wolves, let people rip you apart with the gossip. Okay? And I feel like now they know their apology is going to be inadequate. Like an apology is not going to be enough, I feel, to repair the damage that they caused to this connection. And they know it too. They're doing a lot of crying here. There's tears here. There's tears here. Um, they're crying a, a lake of tears here. Okay. And there's even more here. Look. Yeah, they feel like it's hopeless. Even if they do apologize to you, will it be enough? Here's the thing. I feel like you've already forgiven this person of the unforgivable without the apology. Because it, it's, um, I, feel, I feel like it was crucial for you to do that so that you could move forward and drop the baggage of this connection, right? Drop the pain. You're in this enthusiastic, confident, high-vibing, very high-vibing energy, okay? And you're making wonderful things happen for you because of this high-vibing energy. You're like calling in your blessings, Okay, so I feel like you've already forgiven this person because I don't see any baggage or luggage in these pictures. Do you? I feel like you've already forgiven them, right? I don't even think you need an apology anymore. I feel like you're more excited now with filling your, your, your new life with beautiful things. Okay, so this person is already feeling really hopeless. Like the better you feel going into this new cycle, the more hopeless they feel, okay? They can feel that energy. And you are so, look, you're all in all this confident, high-vibing energy, and they're in hopelessness, feeling defeated. Look at how different, a total difference in your energy. So this person, they're not, um, they're not able to come forward right now, I feel, because they're not even vibing at your, at your level. Right now, they're just, they're crying it out. They're doing a lot of crying. They're doing a lot of, like, anger fits because they're angry with themselves. And their home situation, that's about to come to an end. They can feel it. I feel like they're already making plans for a house move. And they could even suffer some major karma. That I mean, I'm seeing, I've been picking up on like someone having some kind of house fire. Yeah, they're in a state of depression. And I feel like it's because you're freeing yourself. You know, here's the thing. I feel like roles are reversed here. I feel that when this person hurt you for the longest time, you were in a state of depression. You were in a mental prison. You felt stuck in this. Okay, but you have freed yourself from this cage. You freed yourself from, um, from this depressing, sad kind of left behind, out in the cold kind of energy, okay? You freed yourself from that. And I feel like that came with forgiveness. You know, you've got to forgive and release the baggage in order to have energy like this, okay? This is like, woohoo, kind of energy, okay? <laughs> you know, kind of like when you're a kid and you go to a, a water park, like say you're on a field trip, right? Say you're on a field trip and you know you're going to the water park. Man, you don't have a care in the world besides, um, I hope there's not a line to get to the slide. You know what I mean? You're happy. You're excited, enthusiastic for what's coming next. Okay? And that, uh, you're, not, you're not bringing any baggage into this new cycle. And in order to be in this kind of woohoo sort of energy, you have to have the baggage released and in order to release the baggage you need to forgive and I feel like you guys already did that yeah their for their apology I feel will be inadequate because you're already above it okay you're already above all of it 
you know? And so, yeah, this person is feeling that. They're seeing you in this energy somehow. Maybe they're watching your social media. You know, you could even have a, a some kind of public platform. But um, yeah, they know that they know they've lost you, collective. Yeah, there's defeated in two cards. Look at this, defeated, defeated. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be anybody, though. But I feel like, I don't know, I'm feeling heavy Gemini and Cancer, Pisces energy off of this. Um, they had you at one point, okay? This, they had a beautiful connection with you. And they let you go. And I feel like this person didn't put forth any effort. They could have jumped on this. They could have jumped for this balloon, right? They, they could have done something, and they didn't. So you're leaving their life. What did this person expect? You healed yourself. I kind of get the sense, too, that they're sort of amazed. How did you heal them? How did you heal yourself when, th when they're now in a state of panic and depression? Okay? Like, they don't know how to get out of this, this kind of sad energy. They're feeling hopeless. Yeah, they, um, they can't stand the fact that you're releasing them. And you are. You're kind of making a full release here. I don't, I, I see you just moving on happily after everything that you've been put through. That, that makes you probably the strongest person they've ever known. For real. So I feel like eventually or soon this person may have to move. Look at them. They're, they're heartbroken. Heartbroken, sorrowful, uh, bereaved in a lot of grief. So this is suffering a loss. A, a big loss because this person... They had it all when they had you, okay? Um, they could have held the world in the palm of their hands. Unlimited possibilities because of your unconditional love. This person's in love with you, collective. And they're curled up in a little ball somewhere, crying in their hands because they know they lost you and they didn't put forth any effort to fix this. They've lost you. They go from crying to angry, though. Okay? Crying, and then they get up and they punch walls and break stuff. So this person is kind of a, a big mess. All right? But they're going through... These are like the stages, right? They're going through these emotional stages of grief and loss, really, is what it is over this connection. And you're in the final stage of forgiving and releasing and setting yourself free and living life again. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, let's see what they want to say. What does this person want to say? I'm secretly obsessed with you. Please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. So this person could have ghosted you in the past. I never experienced this intense, con intense connection before. No matter who I'm with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. You are the one and only. Yeah, see, they're, they're waking up to this connection, but I feel like it's too late. And now that it's too late, the guilt sets in. The guilt, the anger, okay, the depression, it all sets in now. There is no one else thinking about you all day. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. Yeah, this person misses you, but um, I feel like you're free. You're free and you're healed. 
okay? I sabotaged this connection and I regret it, yeah. Yep, I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? I feel like it's just too late. Okay. But, um, you know, it is going to be your choice. I mean, if this person comes towards you right now, they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're going through stages of emotion similar to, like, suffering a death in the family or something like that. Okay. Um, you know, they're, they're in bereavement. They're in mourning. They're mourning this, the end of this connection. Okay. And meanwhile, you're living again. Okay. You're having a rebirth. Yeah. 